Okay, so here I am. We're going to test the Warg Rogue Druid build for Hardcore League. I am level one, and we are going to level up to level seven, and then we'll go try it out. So level two, we level up as a Druid, as a Blightcaster. We have to go disable device and search. Those are the most important. UMD is good too. We put one in spot. We ignore open lock and we just take one in heal. Next is a druid again. Same thing. We always go disable device and search spot. And this time we do spellcraft. Quicken will let us cast color spray and our heal without being interrupted. We do Druid again. We are intelligence based, so. And we're intelligence based because we are trapping. And you can see I, the Stats are the same, 14, 14, started with an 18, 12. Now we go back to Rogue. And we get all of our essential trapping skills. This is where we fill out open lock. UMD, and then the rest go into jump here. Get evasion. This is where we take our first natural fighting. We're going to, going to take this for our next three feats. Okay, now level seven, specialist, rogue, and just maximizing on our rogue skills. This is where you could add something else if you felt like you were missing it, or just stick with what I posted. Go with balance. We are a 32 point build. We have 26 points at level seven. One racial, one universal. There's our racial. There's our universal. And what we are going to do, the first order of business when you're putting your enhancements is because we are intelligence based we need to get our to hit score because we're doing melee damage so the first thing we take is that that would be the first thing that you take is plus to hit for intelligence the next most useful thing for us to take is to go with your points as you're leveling up we need our sword so we're going to we're going to use this um, face sword and we also need to get you've got my back to get magic missile immunity once we've got that the next thing that you want to focus to achieve would be uh, fear immunity which is right there and we are also essentially headed for strategic combat too. So you're going to be basically be doing a mix. So we've got magic missile immunity. We've got fear immunity now at low level. We don't have to worry about those. Uh, we go into this to get our search, listen and spot up. And then we go know the angles. We're going to put points in intelligence here. We're going to take know the angles to 
we're going to take the third one here because this also gives us the save versus traps. And then we've got our intelligence to damage right there. Uh, the next thing that we want to do in this area here is take all of these highly skilled. That gives us plus three to all our skills. We're going to take Druid gear. And I think if I step right over here, I can set these spells here. Yeah. So I know the angles that will, that's our battle trance. got this light leather armor means that we can still evade you can evade in cloth or light armor we're going to throw away all this stuff we're not going to use the shield because that will interfere with our evasion not going to open any of this other stuff here we are going to go do red fang we're going to do it on elite and try it out and see so keep in mind this is you know, right out of the box, the gear is pretty crappy. We have no potions. Our only heal is Lesser Vigor. We've got a few spells. Jump. Ram's Might. And we're going to see if, you know, out of the box, if our spot and search and disable are able to get I haven't used any of this other stuff and these are regular thieves tools so keep in mind if you've got masterwork or better the DC would be better this is only plus one see if we find okay there it is there's the first trap and there's the box we can disable it in wolf form doesn't we don't have to change and we did really well we rolled a 20 but we have a plus 19. oh i don't have a sword in my hand <laughs> there it is okay Better. Desiccated corpses line the yeah, walls. Since they made the, the changes ceiling. to the face sword, it, it disappears every time you change an instance, so I've got to resummon it. Let's see if we we have any poison immunity. We do. As a druid, we have venom immunity, but it doesn't look like I have it yet because I shouldn't have that poison over my head, but. Not worried about it because I'm pretty sure we'll probably make the save. So this build is sort of strange and it's more for fun just for a challenge, Some something different. I really like the Blight the Caster. And I like the idea of using Harper Tree for intelligence to hit and damage. Platforms line the rim. We have no feather fall, so we have to be careful. The unknown. cast a spell it doesn't do much damage but you know it will do a dot and help burn something down I'm trying to conserve spell points I'm not using my know the angles but there is a um, shrine here okay so this box I know is pretty difficult 
have blown this box up before, so let's see. Hopefully I don't ro roll a one. Oh, I did really well. A dangerous looking spider crawls in the shadows, right here. hungry for a meal. Then it becomes still as you end it. You can see the DPS isn't uh, super high, but it's good. Y you have a built in self heal. The, the trapping works as long as you focus on your intelligence and get intelligence gear. But you can see I've got just basically the starter gear, which I don't even have an intelligence item on. All of the only starter gear items really give are, you know, this one here gives you constitution plus three. This does nothing. This is water breathing. This is plus one of my armor class, plus five hit points from the Founder's Helm. This is just bonus plus three leather armor, that's it. This armor bonus plus four doesn't do anything, I just equipped it. Plus one protection is a deflection bonus, plus five striding. These also give me plus five striding and plus three tumble, and it is part of a set bonus, but I don't have the other part on, and this is just a regeneration ring, one hit point every minute. The Fey Sword is, I like it. It's not as good as it used to be. They nerfed it. But, you know, it's still pretty good. Impact 2, Force Blast 2, and then it bypasses Ethereal. So it's basically, it's Ghost Touch. So you don't have to worry about any of that stuff off the bat. You know, you already have a Ghost Touch weapon. You already have um, two dice plus your Imbue dice. So there's three... You know, so you're doing six dice damage. So the damage for single target is, is decent for elite questing. You know, this isn't um, really uh, like a Reaper build, but this will get you through the elite content. See, he's champion, so I expect him to hit me harder, but he didn't really hit that hard. My stats are 20 armor class. My reflex save is 13. You want to get that over 20. I mean, you just want to get your reflex save as high as you can so your, your evasion is useful for you. Uh, and we would do that because we have insightful reflexes by raising our intelligence. A signal crystal is set on the wall. Perhaps it is tied to a deadly looking scorpion crawls forward to challenge you. Having the lesser vigor is key. For a harder enemy, I would use know the angles. Though but... there appears to be a way through the spikes, the high ground seems safer. These spiders really aren't. You know, they die reasonably quick. So I'm going to save spell points. Every time you use Know the Angles, it costs spell points. So I'd rather save it for my bigger. And I'm going to keep vigoring myself, keep my hit points as high as I can. Now, if you're going for the XP bonus to get all the traps, you want to, you know, get all these boxes. But this is just a demonstration. Oh, actually, I might as well do all the boxes for you guys. over here. I don't think there is. This room is very easy. Just do this box. Drop down. Get this guy to come to you. The next box is right here. Right up here.
Now you can just drop through that door. Uh, it's probably safer to just time this out. Just wait for that to stop and just drop through right there. Rather than messing around looking for the other box. I think it's on the other wall, but... I don't really care about the XP because this is just a test, but if you were trying to get max XP, then you'd want to get that other box. But you have to be careful in that poison room if you're not immune, because the poison trap can kill you pretty quickly. And I'm circling around him to try to flank him to get my flanking bonus. Uh, there should be a the trap pot. Yeah, there are it is. Thicker, Pops, as if a more potent right silk there. were being spun by the spiders, Red Fang must be near. I, can, I have been rolling so well. I, I don't think I've rolled below a 15. I'd like to roll a 1 to see what will happen. I think the, I'll blow the box up. I'm pretty sure if you roll a 1, you blow the box up, unless your score is so high that you can critically succeed. But... Yeah, see that lag? They Ever since the last update, there has been some very bad lag. I rolled a 10. Not bad. Alright, for these guys, I'm going to use everything. I know the angles. I dodge. Because I am outnumbered. The lag aside. Pretty good. Obviously, if you were geared up even remotely well, you know, you'd be doing more DPS than I am. This is just right out of the box. It's not bad. I'll get myself healed. Still have some time on my you know the angles. So Shittering noise right in alarm and rise around you as you break the heart of Red Fang's lair. And I'm going to try to circle around and get my bonus. It doesn't always work, but sometimes it works. Oh, that shit. Ebbs from its body. Another vigor. And it's done. Hundred and twenty six hit points with a plus three con item with a battle trance, a good pretty decent self heal, a decent weapon. Uh you do have a ranged spell that you can drop on things. You have a few buffs. All in all, something different. If you were looking for something different that can trap. As long as you keep your intelligence up as high as you can get it you can trap all the way to level 20. And of course, you don't have to use the Fey weapon. I just use it because it's free and on Hardcore League, I don't have anything, but you could obviously swap it out for something else. And then, you know, obviously you wanna get in the best light armor that you can get in because you have evasion. So you don't wanna wear anything heavier than that. So that's that.